So the next operation we'll talk about is, so that, that's UD inter intersection. Those are the two important ones. Um, and we have two more operations to talk about. And these are really all the operations that anyone really uses because you kind of use these to do anything you want. And so the next operation we're gonna talk about is what's called, so it has actually a few different names. It's called set difference slash set minus slash relative set complements slash not. <laughs> um, it's an operation by many names. Yes, it's a denarian stormboard in that way, in many ways, in fact, but really just this way. And so if we have any sets A and B, right, we say A, so the one I'm going to use most, I'm going to say not, A, not B. But you could also say A minus B. People do that. Or you could say um, complements of B in A. A lot of things you can say. All these are true. Or bring it back over here. Right, so write it symbolically. To write it symbolically, we could say uh, A backslash B, or we could say A of the minus sign B. All of these work. I don't know why people in every different field of mathematics disagree on what to use, but all of these work. I will most often use A not B in this terminology right here. Well, all these are fine, you can say whatever you want. But it all means the same thing. All of these mean to take everything that's in U, such that X is in A, and X is not in B. And so the Venn diagram of that look like this. We'll have a here, let's assume they intersect for now, a B here, this is U of course. And then A minus B is everything, every element that's in A, but not in B. So it's gonna be everything in A, but we don't want to include any of this because it has to be in A and not B. Make sense? So for example, if we do the set um, five, seven, two, four, minus two, three, four pi, What's that gonna be? Five, seven? Yeah, exactly, out of five, seven, perfect, yes. Because we, we look through here and we go, oh, okay, we have five, seven here. We don't want two and four. We, we, we have five, seven, two and four, but we don't want anything in here. So since two is in here, we cross it out. Since three is in here, we have no threes, so we cross it out. Since four is here, we cross it out, and there's no pi, so I'm doing anything there. We just literally go through everything that you're, that you're subtracting and it just cross it out of the set to begin with. And so this one kind of maybe little confusing thing is the fact that like we don't have three or pi in this set. And so it might be tempting to say like, to like keep minus three and minus pi. Don't do that. It just, it just literally is go through this set and cross out anything that's in this set, done. 
So what if we did Q? Why is the natural numbers? Well, that one would be a little harder because Q minus the natural numbers, um, I guess that's all X and Q such that X is not a natural number. But there's really no better way to write it than just that. That's kind of all it is. This is, a, this is a very complicated set because this would include negative integers because natural because is the positive integers. And it would also include all other rational numbers that aren't integers. So it would include 2.5, 2.7, 2.9, but not 3. Um, 2.999, 2.9785, like, but not 3, not 2, not 1. So there's everything that's not a natural number. Um, maybe a better example is what if we do Q minus IE? What's that going to be? So we go through all by one and we say, okay, pi's in this set. Let's cross out pi if it's in this set. But is pi in Q to begin with? Getting a, I'm getting a, I'm getting a, getting a, getting a chat. What happens if we do not a and B. Good question, Afra. And we'll get to that in a second. Let me finish this up real quick. So Q minus pi E, pi and E aren't in Q to begin with. And so like Q and pi and E, like we were talking about before, they're distinct. They're distinct. So if we take all, if we take all of pi and E out of Q, well, we haven't done anything to Q. Q to, Q hasn't lost a single element. And so Q minus pi and E are still, is still just Q. Now, offer good question. Um, I think the question you're really asking is like, what if we do A minus uh, B, like minus C or something like that? Or it's like we do this minus and then this minus? Well, that's just the same thing as doing, so this is going to be everything in A that's not in B. This is going to be everything that's in A that's not in B that's also not in C. This is going to be A minus B union C. Because if you're in B or C, you're out. And so that's kind of, I think, is that your question, Alfred? 